Hello everybody, Jimmy is Perlman here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about edge lighting. We're gonna see what has been updated, what has changed, and what does it look like when you either hide or show your front-facing cameras. Now, if you are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for future videos. So edge lighting is a fun way to view and interact with your notifications. So first off, to turn on edge lighting, you wanna pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon and head down to where it says display. Now underneath display, you're gonna head down to where it says edge screen. So edge screen is the area of your settings where you're able to make any changes to your edge panels, which is the side screen right over here. And then you also have the ability of changing any settings for your edge lighting. Now, as you have this one turned on, you'll notice that the bigger banner that would normally come if you get a text message is now gone and you'll see it with a smaller little icon. Now, there's a couple different ways to show your edge lighting. You can have it to where the screen will always show edge lighting if the screen is on, or it'll only show edge lighting if the screen is off, but this way I have mine set up to where it's always. So if the screen is off or on, you'll be able to see that little animation of the light going around the display. So this is where you can change your edge lighting style. So there is a couple small changes with the edge lighting on the Galaxy S10, as well as the Samsung One UI versus the past uh, edge lighting options. So underneath effect, you have the option for bubble, and you also have the uh, effect for multicolor. So you can kind of see a couple different changes, even with the icon up over here, you can see a couple different bubbles going around the icon that you are able to interact with. This one right here for multicolor is just a multicolor going around the ring of the phone, but no little bubbles around the icon. This one right here is a glow effect, and then you also have glitter. Now there's a couple different ways you can also make this look. So I kind of like the option of bubble and you can go through here and you can change your color. So if there's a particular color that kind of looks just a little bit better, you can go through and change and you can also make your own specific color through that little spindle wheel. Now you can have it as a basic color and basic just means probably within the application that you are using. And then this one right here, you can go through customizations of colors based on what applications you would like to basically run. So if you would like maybe a particular color um, of blue to go through text messages, maybe green for your phone calls, you can go with purple for Facebook. You can really customize any of these colors for any application. Now underneath transparency, this is where you go through and you change how much of a transparency would you like to go through. So I'm gonna go with the color red. Uh, with transparency, you do not want it to go to high. It's taking away, you're adding it to be a little bit more transparent. So if you put it all the way low, it's much easier to see the color. And then your width. So you can make it to where it's extremely narrow, but I probably suggest putting it as the most wide option that there is. So it's easier for you to see the color and see the notification. The last tab is the duration. So how long would you like it to last? So if you have it as all the way short, it's just gonna show it for just a few seconds. You can put it up over into mid, so it's gonna show just a little bit longer. And then if you move it over into long, it'll be the longest duration. So then this way, if you're looking away, then you're able to possibly catch it at the very end uh, because it is just a little bit longer of a duration. Now, before I show you what edge lighting looks like when you hide the front facing cameras, let's go over one more small step. And beforehand at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that it's a way for you to interact with your notifications. So if you go to the edge lighting interaction, if you turn it on, you'll do several different things with that little small pop-up icon on the very top. So if you wanted to open the application, you can do that by basically tapping or double tapping. If you wanted to open the app in a pop-up view, if you go to that little icon and you swipe down, then that right there will open up in a small small pop-up view. And if you like to dismiss that edge lighting notification, simply do a swipe left or right. And now let's head over back into the settings underneath display and all applications and such. And let's hide this front facing camera. I know for me, I have no issues with the hole punch or the infinity O display on the very top right hand side. Because the screen goes around the cutout of the cameras, it basically blends it all in. It's as if you're reading a book or reading a post on Facebook, someone forgets a letter, but you are still able to read the word even with something missing. My eyes basically just kind of fill that all in. And so this has no effect on me whatsoever, but let's say that you wanted to get rid of that whole cutout punch of the camera on the front. Now let's see what the edge lighting looks like. To hide the front facing camera, you're gonna head over into your settings. You're gonna go down to where it says display. And then underneath display, you're gonna scroll down to where it says the full screen apps. 
Now underneath the full screen apps, you have the option here on the very top where it says the hide of the front camera. And once you turn it on, you'll see that this goes down, it rounds out the corners, and it goes basically right below that uh, front hole cutout of the cameras. Now basically, because I have the Galaxy S10 Plus, it goes from the 6.4 inch display basically down to 6.1. So now this is almost the size of the screen of the Galaxy S10. Now, like I said from before, this does not bother me beforehand, but this right here does take away from some of the screen. Um, I will have to say that when you watch YouTube and everything else, when you zoom in, this will be the largest of the display you'll ever see. So if you're watching something and that little cutout does kind of bother you, there is a way that you are able to turn it off. Now let's head back over into the settings and let's go back over into display and let's play with that edge screen lighting again and see what happens. Now when we go inside of the edge lighting style, you'll see that the very top of the ring of edge lighting does not go to the top of the phone as it did from before. It goes right below the front facing cameras. So if you do go into this mode for some reason, maybe the front facing camera cutouts does bother you. When you do use your edge lighting, here is your answer. It does not go around the entire thing. It just goes with the screen of when it got down and being compressed to basically a 6.1 inch display. So this is pretty much what it looks like. If you wanna head all the way back over into showing off your cameras one more time, head down into your settings and then your display. Then you're gonna scroll down to where it says the full screen apps. Turn this back on and you're gonna see that you're gonna get your whole cutout punch again. And again, I've used this for several days. It does not bother me with any type of video watching or taking pictures or doing anything like that. I was really curious on what happened when you had edge lighting turned on and you either had the camera showing or not showing. And that was a little bit of the purpose of this video. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit on subscribe. You can subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side, that little red circle. Share this video with your friends and family and social medias. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.